Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate, ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So that was something fun. <laughs> you guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberize? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DeadSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. Hello, welcome back to another episode, and it's summer, summer's here, man. And summer is always an interesting time for me because I get to play games that have been sitting on my shelf for a while. Hence the title of this, you know, show is called Backlogged. But for real, in summer is the time I kind of start digging back in those games that I've kind of bought and collected over the previous months and give them more of a second chance than maybe I did during the fall. But today I'm going to talk about something that's literally been on my virtual digital shelf for almost since it came out last fall. The only reason I got it is because I got an incredibly good deal on it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought it right away. I would have bought it now after seeing kind of the critical acclaim that it's gotten. And the game we're talking about today, of course, is Watch Dogs 2. So, the original Watch Dogs was an interesting game because it was kind of like the first promise of a new game on the next generation of consoles. When that original trailer was shown at E3, I want to say 20... I, I want to say it was 2012. It could have been 2013. It just looked incredible. Like, the, the amount of detail and everything it was clear that the game was running on a very high-end pc but it couldn't be announced for next generation systems at the time because the next generation systems hadn't been announced yet so it wasn't really announced as a system yet i believe at the time it was just announced for like next platforms or something something like that but it all it looked interesting it was kind of like a almost like a modern day assassin's creed except you're hacking everything the problem with creed is that when it finally came out it was set in kind of my hometown of Chicago. I don't live in actual Chicago, but I live in the Chicago area. Uh, so it's set in Chicago. It's not It's not a fictional town. And the problem with that game is, like, Chicago is not represented well at all. It's almost laughable how shitty Chicago is represented in that game. The main character in that game, Aiden Pierce, is incredibly unlikable character he just he's very boring and generic his storyline and motivations for why he's doing what he's doing is just weak and the most generic plot you can imagine and by the end of that game i just didn't care about any of it and but i always looked at it as like an original assassin's creed situation of well i like the original assassin's creed but there are a lot of people that were very critical of it and always said like well let's see what the second one puts out and assassin's creed 2 is always kind of remembered and always kind of will be remembered as the best assassin's creed in the franchise i would argue black flag but that's me and so Watch Dogs has kind of been a similar thing after it came out people did like there are people that do like the original Watch Dogs, but for the most part people are kind of not really hepped up on Watch Dogs. so Watch Dogs 2 is a game that had utterly no hype for it when it was announced Nobody really seemed to give a shit, and yet it, it seems like it did pretty well last fall. I'm happy to report that Watch Dogs 2 is actually a really damn good game from what I've played of it. I've played about an hour, an hour and a half, and that's the point of Backlogged, is me taking a game off the shelf, be it physical shelf or digital shelf, and playing it for, you know, an hour to two hours, and then recording a video and telling you guys if I like it, if I dislike it. I really like Watch Dogs 2. Watch Dogs 2. In Watch Dogs 2, you start as a hacker, Marcus Holloway. So it's a complete departure from the original game. I'm sure there are ties to the original game. And, like, the CTOS, like, 
camera thing that you hack throughout the city like you did in Chicago is, is present in this game. This game takes place in the San Francisco Bay Area. The world that you explore in San Francisco and everything is much larger, much more detailed than the original Watch Dogs because the one thing you have to remember about the original Watch Dogs is that the developers were hindered by having to make that game when they started it on the 360 and PS3 generation and then port it up to Xbox One and PS4. So they were already working with limited hardware, whereas this game was built for the ground up for Xbox One and PS4. This version specifically, I'm playing the PS4 version of the game. But I like what I've played of it thus far. It, it oozes a style to it that was really missing in the first Watch Dogs that really makes it feel like a fun, you're having fun. I had fun with the two hours I've played this game. You're Marcus Holloway, you're part of like a hacker, uh, you're part of a hacktivism group essentially. And well, being part of this group and part of your friends, there's different characters. There's one guy that really annoys me because he wears a mask all the time, but his mask has like different digital like eyes that display different things and it just it looks stupid he looks silly but he actually seems like an all right character the more that i've played the game one of, but each mission i've done has been fun so one of the first missions you do in the game is you're watching a uh, trailer for a popular like really really cheesy action movie that's about hacking of course because that's what these people are all into and it it throws back to like knight rider uh, there's a dude that kind of looks like cat like the cat car from knight rider and in doing this mission, you have to do several things. You have to basically, you tell these people, hey, look, we're a real hacker group. You're making fun of hackers and you're making hackers look bad. So we're going to make you look bad. That's essentially what you decide to do for this mission. So you break in, you steal the script from this movie studio and you steal some other like personal emails in order to find the location of the car. And then you go and you steal the car which is actually a really fun sequence and the then you kind of set a publicity stunt so the game's all about getting more followers to your hacker group it's more relevant to like real world stuff right now in terms of hackers and like that group anonymous and stuff then i really think that these people set out to make it because you have to remember games like this they're the, the ideas for games like this are decided years before they're actually made so if we're looking at Watch Dogs 2 they probably decided on this idea and these concepts at least two to two and a half years ago so the fact that it's come that it came out last fall and it is doing what it's doing is, is really turned it around into being a experience that lines up with kind of our present times so the little bit of that I've played of the game you have a cell phone obviously you can hack everything you can hack street lights cameras all that stuff from the original is back uh, driving seems a little bit better but it still seems floaty like like no game is gonna do driving in an open world setting as good as Grand Theft Auto 5 which is a funny statement for me to make because Grand Theft Auto 4's driving was so terrible and then Grand Theft Auto 5 that was like one of the main focuses on fixing that franchise and they did such an outstanding job that now anytime I play an open world game that's the thing I compare it to and here like it seems a little floaty but it's not awful I like what I've played of it. I really like this character of Marcus Alloway. He seems really cool. It's also cool to see an African American portrayed as the main protagonist in a game. That's not something you often get these days. A lot of times you're either getting a, a male or a female protagonist, but uh, someone of color never really happens that much. So it's really cool to see that here in this game. And he seems like a really cool character and everything like his stories you know the story surrounding him kind of how he gets set up into being part of this hacktivism group is really interesting one of the cool things about Watch Dogs 2 that i actually haven't had a chance to try yet but i'm hoping to soon is that the game has a seamless drop in drop out co-op for its main story which is new to this series that's not something that was in the original Watch Dogs at all the original Watch Dogs did have like a multiplayer component to it where people could kind of join your game and hack it and that still exists here in Watch Dogs 2 but the fact that i can join up in my buddy's game and, and play a couple missions with him and then go back into mine that seems really interesting cool i haven't explored it yet so i can't report on if that works really well or it doesn't i look forward to doing that at some point but for now i've just kind of played the game single player i did have somebody try to join my game and hack it last night and i we, we ended up in a, quite a shootout uh in the san francisco bay area i would say but it it does work uh, everything i've played of it it's been really solid i like the characters that i've met the, the characters in your hacker group all seem really cool 
Uh, it's interesting to note one thing that's cool about Watch Dogs 2 is not a lot of people reserve the game when it came out. You know, there's there's been this there's this huge misconception in the gaming community of uh, a lot of people like to use the term "don't pre-order games anymore." Pre-ordering games is bad. It's the devil. Don't do it kind of a thing i've never had that approach i am always been the firm believer if you really want something if it's something you're really into pre-order it if you're on the fence about it then just wait but pre-ordering isn't bad and a lot of places like something like gamestop or even like a best buy or something as well a lot of times they use pre-orders as a way to judge how many copies of a game to get so if it's a game that's a lesser amount like prime example like if it's a weird jrpg or like visual novel game or something that they're not already planning to get like 50 copies of it and it's something you really want you're only going to go into that store and buy that game and get it if you reserve it if you don't reserve it they're not even going to get it so but Watch Dogs 2 because so many people were burned on the original Watch Dogs so many people were disappointed on the first Watch Dogs that people just did not reserve Watch Dogs 2 they kind of said F you to soft and were not interested in the game and that thus the game had like no real hype around it like I remember all last summer when the game was announced and you know at E3 and everything being like I don't really care about Watch Dogs 2 like it, it, I was one of those people that just I didn't care uh, there were too many other games coming out that piqued my interest much more than Watch Dogs 2 However, you know, because I was able to get it for such a fantastic price, I even have the, the digital deluxe version that has the DLC and everything. Uh, you know, I put it on my digital shelf, like, one day I'll get to it. And honestly, for Backlogged here, it was between me playing Watch Dogs 2 or me playing another game that will be in a future episode. But between the two games, I decided to play Watch Dogs 2 because... I wanted to try it out. Also, it is a PS4 Pro game. As far as PS4 Pro stuff, I believe it runs at like 1800p, so it's like kind of almost, almost kind of double the resolution. And it, it, I guess it looks a little bit cleaner. It does run at 30 frames. It doesn't run at 60 frames, which is disappointing because that's all I, honestly, all I want from these systems. And if Scorpio does this, I'll be super happy. Just give me 1080p 60 frames on everything and I'm happy. That's all I want. I don't need 4K. 4K, we're not there yet as a society for 4K. At least for like televisions and, and gaming consoles, PCs, whatever. It looks cleaner on the PS4 Pro and like, it, I wouldn't say it's a shining example of what the PlayStation 4 Pro can do, but it does definitely look a little bit better than it does on the base PS4. But regardless if you are out there and you have a PS4, or if you have a PS4 Pro, or even if you have an Xbox One, it's not going to really look that much different on what platform you play. It just looks really good. And another thing I really like about this game in comparison to Watch Dogs 1 is that everything is colorful and vibrant. I'm a big fan of colorful and vibrant games and tropical settings for the most part this isn't a tropical setting but and Watch Dogs 2 is extremely loud and colorful in terms of how the game looks compared to the original game which was very gray dark and dreary I know it was Chicago but still so jumping from that to this it's a bigger and much more interesting change up in terms of setting and everything looks wonderful just walking around downtown San Francisco is a lot of fun in this game Another thing that's really cool in this game, and I haven't gotten there yet, but I was just looking at kind of an outside of the map, but like, so there's San Francisco Bay Area, there's Oakland, there's, they also put Silicon Valley in this game, which obviously Silicon, the Silicon Valley is, you know, where all this technology stuff's happening. I'm not using the term Silicon Valley to describe the wonderful HBO show that you should be watching if you're not watching it. It's fantastic. Uh, but it is a real area that's in San Francisco or in California in that area that's in this game and it's very well representative. Unfortunately, I didn't take footage of that area yet. I haven't I haven't 100% gone through all of that area yet, but it represented really well here. I really like Watch Dogs 2. I think it's really cool. I think you should check it out and play it if you haven't. Watch Dogs 2 is available now. You can get it for PS4, you can get it for Xbox One, you can get it for PC. It's not very expensive. I think it goes for like at most $40 now, but I think you you probably find it for like 25 to 30 in that range either on Amazon, GameStop or Best Buy or something. But I think it's worth your time, especially if you're someone that's on the fence that played the original Watch Dogs and kind of came off that like I just don't care about Watch Dogs. This game is such a course correction step in the right direction for that that it it really makes it fascinating and I really like it. So, if you have your chance, go pick up Watch Dogs 2, play it. 
two thumbs up, I guess. I haven't played enough of it to give it a full review, but from what I've played and being part of the spirit of Backlog where I play a little bit of a game and then talk about it, I like what I've played of this game a lot. You should check it out. Have fun playing it. The characters, everything about it, really cool, really pops. Anyways, guys, until next time. Thank you.